There's not much to say here, so I'm just going to get right into it. Northwell Health Security comes past me, slows up. We get within inches of each other. What, are they short patients? They have to create new ones? Is Northwell Health getting paid extra for this behavior? Whatever it takes to increase shareholder value. This is what happens when I jog at North Shore Towers, but it gets worse. Interesting. For two consecutive weeks, as I was jogging on the golf path at North Shore Towers, a Jeep, as depicted on the lower third of the screen, drove up on the golf course towards me, his lights flashing. The first week, I veered to the left, as you see where the white arrow is. The second week, at the same place, around the same time, a Jeep came up and, to my disbelief, was headed towards me again. This time, I landed on the hood and cracked the windshield. What's interesting is the driver of the Jeep could not explain why he was on the golf course. And now the narrative is, I jumped on a car. Now it happened two weeks in a row and I can prove it on the next slide. It's really WTF all day, every day. There's a narrative being circulated that I jumped on a hood. In fact, when I met with the detectives at the Queens DA's office, it was mentioned to me. They didn't ask me under what circumstances or anything else. As you can see, I have a text which confirms what I've been telling people. Two weeks in a row, second week I landed on the hood, broke the windshield because they wanted to run me down. I think this evidence is better than their narrative. Here's the bill for the windshield. North Shore Towers debited my father's account without giving notice. Subsequently, I had to pay for it. Thus, I had to pay for the privilege of paying for a windshield because a car was trying to run me over. It seems people here think I've forgotten about it. I want to know who decided to charge my father's account, who decided to run me over, and why this was considered acceptable. My brakes were tampered with. There's the hydraulic line that was removed from my car. I will show you under what circumstances. I understand the skepticism, but I can only present the facts as I know them. This is a closer look at the brake line. There's no corrosion or damage other than a small pinhole. It's dangerous because the brakes will work, but each time the brake pedal is depressed, fluid will squirt out as opposed to only dripping out. On the morning of April 18th, 2022, when I started up the car, the dashboard read the brake fluid was low. A little unusual, but the brakes were working. That day I had court. When I got out of court, I went to the first auto parts store, and when I lifted the hood, I noticed that the brake reservoir was bone dry. It wasn't until the next morning that I realized there was a leak. Here's a picture of the brake fluid I found on the floor of the garage on April 20th. The car was repaired on the 19th. Now I'm gonna show emails I sent to Thomas Kopp over at the Queens DA's office, and John Mio, who's over at Northwell Health. I also added some commentary. I sent the emails on Friday, April 15th, 2022. You know, there have been times I've been very frustrated. The people I've contacted who should have been assisting me and helpful, turns out they were part of the problem. And the end result has been that the harassment has increased. I didn't think they would like the emails, although I didn't expect the response I received. It is purely speculation, of course, but I have some interesting video evidence that I don't want to disclose right now. And of course, I'll be sending out more videos soon enough.